142 million miles from the Sun, you can find the red planet Mars. Scientists are currently trying to develop the technology that will one day allow us to colonize the Martian world, as it may well be the future for human beings as we expand across the solar system and beyond. But the great age of the Martian is currently just an idea, as the only things inhabiting its surface at the moment are the robots that we have sent to study the dead planet. However, NASA has set a goal of getting humans to Mars within the 2030s, so when that first and ultimately world famous astronaut takes the first steps on the red planet, what will it be like? The astronaut would see nothing but a dry and barren landscape that slightly resembles some of the deserts seen here on Earth. But the Martian desert would look red due to a fine layer of iron oxide dust that blankets the planet's surface. Depending on where the landing site was, the astronaut might see giant canyons, dry lake beds, ancient craters, and huge shield volcanoes like Olympus Mons, the largest of its kind within the solar system. However, these lonely alien landscapes might not be visible, as Mars can experience intense storms that can kick up dust 25 miles into the air and can be big enough to cover the entire planet. The astronaut would feel cold, as the average temperature of Mars is a frigid minus 63 degrees Celsius, but it can fluctuate to a warming 26 degrees Celsius along the equator during the Martian midday summer. Looking up into the sky, the astronaut would see clouds floating through the Martian atmosphere. Because of the extra distance, the sun would look smaller than it does here on Earth, and during nighttime, the two Mars moons Phobos and Deimos would be visible shining between the glistening stars. The astronaut would feel much lighter, as the gravity on Mars is 62% lower than it is here on Earth. A 100 kg person on our planet would weigh only 38 kg on the red planet. To explore the Martian surface, the astronaut would have to be fully equipped with a special suit, as the Martian atmosphere is made up of a deadly 95% carbon dioxide. The planet's atmosphere is also less than 1% of Earth's, so the sun's lethal radiation bombards the unforgiving Martian planet. But evidence has been discovered that suggests Mars wasn't always barren. Billions of years ago, there may have been small oceans and long rivers flowing across the red planet's surface. However, that once flowing water has mostly disappeared due to the Martian atmosphere being stripped away by solar winds. One day, in the far future, with our intervention, Mars could potentially be the next Earth, and the Martian people will truly know what it feels like to stand on Mars. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then why not check out what it would be like to stand on Mercury, or maybe Venus. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and check back soon for the next episode in the series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.